Hey guys, <laughs> best intro, but um, for GLTE here, um, just gonna make a quick video today um, on this beautiful uh, website called YouTube.com, which has recently removed my monetiz monetization just because I have a low subscriber count. Um, this is a new change, but anyways, I'm here to tell you about emulation. Um, so, I've been getting into the emulation scene, and, uh, so far, I've been enjoying it, but I thought it would be a great challenge to try and emulate Breath of the Wild, and so far, it's only been, like, um, maybe two months since I've tried, um, last time I tried, um, with an older version of Simu, which is the Wii U version of um, a, a Wii U emulator, and uh, back then it wasn't that great, and now we have a better version of we of Simu that I'm able to get uh, better frames and a better experience with my system, and so I'm going to show you how to get this work working properly, and just tell you this is Simu version 1.11.5. And, uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you a few things. And probably some gameplay. So yeah. First off, um, I recommend you downloading CMU from the website. And then, um, getting Wii U USB Helper. Because this will help you by downloading the, um, the games and DLC and stuff. Also, I would recommend you buy the actual game before you do this. Because it is illegal to not own the game is basically just piracy um so i would ho i would just uh buy the game um even if you don't have the system but also i think you should buy the system the switch is pretty good um so yeah um get this it'll automatically download breath of the wild and get it on all unpacked so you can uh use it and also, if you hit play this game on PC, if you you have to have Simu already downloaded, it will download a, uh, a graphic, a bunch of graphics packs for a bunch of different games. And also, not all of them, not all of them are up to date, and so you might have to download some the some of the community mods on this one website. I'll try and link it, but I don't have the website on me right now. So right now, I have for my system. Uh, no anti-aliasing on, no depth of field, 1080p. Uh, I have also a 45 FPS lock, and this is just uh, to get a stable frame rate and while having FPS plus plus on, which basically just slows down the game so you can get a steady F uh, FPS of 45 or whatever you have it set static to. Um, also, this crash workaround, it tends to, uh, I think, make it let crash less more. Don't quote me on that. And this minimalistic GUI, just because I've been playing Breath of the Wild with their regular GUI for so long. Uh, I have over 200 hours, and I wanted something new. Also, no anti-aliasing. I think I already said that, but it's also very, it'll help you with FPS. Most of this stuff will help you with FPS, especially for the no depth of field. Um, Death of Field, basically what it does is, um, I'll show you what it does. So basically when you, oh god, <laughs> look at that. Oh, I just loaded in, so that's why it's doing that. Alright, so, usually when you jump up like that, it'll have everything around you blurred. Which it did there, but that was mainly just motion blur. The Depth of Field blur is when... Everything else around you is blurred without motion. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right, but yeah. Um, that'll help you with uh, FPS and uh, CPU usage. Speaking of which, um, you're also, if you have a system with a low, um, low processor speed, I'd recommend you either overclock or try and see, try and see if you can get, um, better uh, graphic packs or whatever but for example for me I have a Ryzen uh, 5 1600 and I decided overclocking was the best option 
because I've already tried pretty much everything else and um, so far this has been this setting on my 1600 works perfectly um, this is probably the highest I can probably get it to without going over this voltage which I don't feel comfortable going over so I'm just gonna keep it at this and it run, runs fine um, so I'll just show you some gameplay as well uh, some quick tips with uh, Ryzen Master if you're planning on using it. It only works with Ryzen CPUs. Uh, it doesn't work with every AMD CPU or Intel. It doesn't work at all with Intel. It doesn't work at all with any Ryzen CPU, uh, any, any AMD CPU besides the Ryzen series. Uh, also, I'm using a X370. Yeah, X370 mo uh, motherboard, so I think I get a few more options than the B350. Um, also, yeah, these different control options. You need to disable these if you're going to overclock your CPU. If you don't disable these, you might have some issues, which I did. Um, you'll have to restart it each time, and that's no, that's no fun, and I'll disable some cores without your permission, and... Um, you might have to flash your BIOS for that, which is what I saw online for one fix for that, but I decided just to not have these checked um, if, if you're just going to do an overclock of your CPU. Um, so besides that, there's not much more to it except for the graphics packs, which you just drag in to the folder. Um, and also I'm using a ProCon X input thingy. That lets me use a my Switch Pro controller with um, with my PC and basically just uses it as an Xbox controller. Um, so yeah, when you're wanting to down uh, download graphics packs, just drag them into this folder. Basically, just find it in USB Helper Games. Well, you you have to make a f whatever folder you put USB Helper in and whatever folder you put your games in. Data, emulators, Simu. And this is if you hit play on PC, which I highly recommend playing using Simu to open Simu, uh, using USB Helper to open Simu. You don't have to use it for games or anything. You can just use it to open Simu. Uh, and then bin, and then graphics packs. And to enable those, I showed you. You just drag those in. Um, go back to Simu. Uh, hit options and then graphics packs and it'll open up this window and you'll enable them you have to restart them if you have to restart CMU if you have a game running but if not you should be fine and so I'll just show you some gameplay and just to uh, keep keep in mind that opening this for the first time you will see some stutters but if you keep this open longer and keep playing it you'll will, you will get better FPS especially if you have graphics packs enabled so yeah I just got of the Great Plateau well not just but if you were this is one of the areas you can go to and this is a fortress basically um, I'm do I am experiencing experiencing some stutters but that's because I just started it and haven't done much Sorry, my aim is pretty bad. <laughs> so now these guys are going to be coming down. We'll get this bow guy. This guy does a lot of damage. Oh god. So menus are pretty smooth. They don't have uh, there's not much trouble in the menus. Besides there's a few glitches I have noticed with loading screens and stuff, but that's only if you have a long playtime. There we go, finally pulled off a sneak strike. And that's a glitch, I think. Doesn't happen on the switch, so that would be a glitch.
I'm gonna just take these guys out with the bow. The ones with not a shield. Without a shield. And it just broke. <laughs> and this is probably one of the easier ways of uh, recording gameplay for Breath of the Wild. Um, if you have a good PC. Mainly because it's all one platform. And I hate those gun uh those guys with the bows. And I'm full of shields. For some reason I'm not hitting any sh headshots. There we go. Please be lightning. Oh they're giving up. Watch me die here. <laughs> I'm getting hit by freaking arrows again. I'm gonna use his weapon, because apparently it's way better than mine. There we go, got one. Let me two. Uh, here, I'm just gonna throw out one of these. Actually, no, I'll keep it here and let them come to me. And there we go. I think I just took all of them out. So, doesn't... The rain is actually not big a big of an issue because of the way Nintendo made Breath of the Wild. Just mainly loading in areas will uh, be your main source of of FPS lag also explosions but um, they're not that bad so I'll, sh I'll show you one all it does is slow down just for a little bit but that does it on the switch and Wii U as well and then it goes back to whatever you were at oh there's one more guy and by the way if you didn't know throwing damage is more so if your weapon's about to break, just throw it at him. So yeah, I would not recommend emulating if you do not already own the game or have played it. Uh, main reason why is also uh, is because of legal issues mainly, but also I think if you play Breath of the Wild or whatever you're trying to emulate first on its original console. You'll appreciate more having a better, uh, better graphics on a different on the emulator, because that way you'll. I I obviously appreciate it way more because um. The switch is uh. Uh. I don't know what graphics aren't uh, that good, and um, it does look way better on PC. I will admit. Just because I have a good PC. <laughs> um, I could get some of uh, my friend's gameplay who has a 6700K. I'm not K. Um, you can't overclock. I'll just save these guys real quick. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want that out. That's no damage. So yeah, overclocking is a bit um, of a downside of emulating because most of the time you will have to em uh, overclock using Simu for games like this, I think, the newer ones, that haven't got, got much support. I mean, this does have a lot of support currently, uh, but <laughs> it's not like um, a lot of great support currently because of all because of how new the game is and it takes a while to actually develop mods and yeah I think I could just end the video off here um, you can basically do pretty much everything that you can on the Wii U and Switch versions but also include it also includes like different graphic mods 
and uh, different ways to play. I think there are cheats that you can download, but those are a little bit harder to download. I haven't tried them personally. I think I should because they'd probably be funny. Yeah. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you'd like to see actual gameplay on the channel of Breath of the Wild, uh, just leave it in the comments and I'll probably do it. So yeah, thanks for watching.